All right, we are back to a little bit more of the old boot and maybe even the conclusion. Your boy's life is in the hands of the government. And it seems they're bending every single rule imaginable to make sure the prosecution is in their favor. I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it. I've made some good choices. Now, I've been reading a lot of the comments saying there's a lot of doom and gloom in the comments. Oh, Falcon didn't get help by Quinn, which means it's basically game over for him. Well, you could be right. That could be the case, sure. But only, only if they're not playing by the rules, because otherwise, Quinn or no Quinn, my defense has been very steady. There's been a lot of hearsay and a lot of speculation on their part. They have no solid proof, other than whatever was missing from whatever they found in the logs missing. But other than that, it's been all right. Oh, you want me to work? No. You know the routine. You prosecute your boy. He does not work. I don't care. Now, I've also been reading the comments. Falcon, you should probably work just so that they um go easy on you or, um you know, they, 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 they see that you're a good worker. No, 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 no. I was a good worker for a long time and this is what they got. They got me. Nothing at all. So, I am working. Plus, I really don't think it act this actually matters in terms of the actual outcome of the prosecution going on, so I'd just rather not do it. Last day, Mr. Crawford. Whatever the results is gonna be, good luck. Yeah, I bet you mean. Please take a seat. Alright. <clears throat> well, what do you guys have to throw at me today, huh? Dear citizens, good evening. The broadcast is live now, and we're all set to hear your opinions about the defendant. I hope you are still impressed with the testimonies yesterday like I do. Mr. Crawford, please come forward. And Mr. Cox, you may start discussing with the defendant your final argument now. Mr. Cox? Who the hell's Mr. Cox? <laughs> Without further delay, staff... Please get the dice rolling. All right. Let's see what the def uh, the jury, I guess the yeah, I guess the jury. They are the jury by peers. I have to say about me. Who the hell is Mr. Cox? <laughs> I I don't know who that is. Citizen number nine one ninety. Please come forward to the stage. Your Honor, and fellow judges. I've got to say, I've been furious since I heard what he and the other inspector did. Didn't all food inspectors vow to protect the interest of people before they even started working? I'm sure they did, and the defendant did. So, Mr. Crawford, you broke your vow. Completely. I don't know about the others, but for me, that one thing is enough. And you aren't even sorry for what you did. At least, I can't feel it. Thank you. Next! Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to be sorry about. The one thing that I apparently took, which could have easily been one of the roles that they told me that they don't care if I threw away or taken. Citizen number 194, come forward to the stage. Hi. I... I just want to say I still remember the day I heard about what the defendant's father did. That day, I just got recovered from severe starvation, and it was caused by nothing else but the flooding in our population. I was too weak to stop people from robbing my food. What saved me back then were the walls the government built and the orders the government established. So I was shocked to see someone trying to break them after all that happened. If the defendant got that from his father, he must go to jail. Cause I'm not returning to that time, not ever. Thank you. Next! Oh, very, 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 very convincing testimony there. How do I even respond to that? Citizen number 195, please come forward to the stage. Everybody. Uh, I hope you didn't forget. What we say today is going to be heard by the entire city. There's no reason not to speak out our anger and disappointment. Can't you see? This man is a liar, 
a hypocrite, an enemy of us. When people are dying of hunger on the street, this man is eating good up in the sky. And he's not even satisfied. He's even got to take more from us. I bet he already forgot what it's like to live down here, underground. The two most important things in our lives in Aiden, trust and rules. He spit on them both. So I say, let's punish him for that. Make him pay. Make him pay. Make him pay. That's certainly got to rise from the crowd. <laughs> What an ending judge is. Who's speaking right now? What voice am I doing? The deputy again, maybe? I don't know. I don't know who's speaking. I guess I'll just go with the deputy. I believe you all made the message very clear. Mr. Crawford, it's your turn now. Okay, so I get to say something too. Good. All right, Ned. Give me some good choices here. I will, I will get us out of this if you give me some good choices. That's, I guess that's a good start. I'm... I'm sorry for the things I took. You're right. I should have known better as a civilian myself. And as a food inspector who took a vow. But please believe me. I'm not with these or any terrorist group. I beg you to consider giving me a second chance. I'll do anything I can to make it up. That's all. That's all, really? Nothing else? Uh... I had to throw a little bit more in there, Ned. It's interesting how you said in the survey you'd give your father a second chance. And now this. If you were naive like that, a prison might be a good thing for you. Wait. In the survey I said I gave my dad a second chance? I thought I said that I'd rat him out too. Right? Like, didn't we say, like, didn't we, like, go pro-government? We're like, yeah, we'd rat him out too. It's a good thing you guys took him in. Hmm. Alright, whatever. It's interesting how you said in the survey you won't give other lawbreakers a second chance and now this. Which one of you should we trust? Maybe neither. Hmm. I don't know, I could have sworn I said I wouldn't give the father a second chance too. Okay then. All we have left to do is the voting. Firstly, the obvious one. Guilty. Or not guilty. Gee. I wonder what that's gonna be. I get to vote too? Good. Um, he's not guilty. Hmm. Where's my vote? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I I think I might not be winning this one. 250? Even Awad got a couple of not guilties. And he he was dead to rights of these member. And uh, guilty it is. Doesn't feel the same when you yourself are standing there, does it? Let's move on to the next. My punishment? For what the defendant did, and has been charged with, two possible options are decided based on night and law. One is immediate dismissal, which also includes a permanent ban on future application for any government positions, and a compulsory educational program. The other is 10 years of imprisonment, where he'll be taught how to be a qualified citizen as well. Now please, make your choice. I, I wouldn't be opposed to the dismissal, if that's all right. Oh. Imprisonment. I'm not even a member of D's. I should have been a member of D's. I regret not being a member of D's. This is what happens. I played it by the rules for you people. Ratted them out. This is what I get. Time's up. And there we have it, our final verdict. No surprises. Oh yeah, imagine that. My dear citizens and everyone that's watching or listening to us elsewhere, here I announce, by the decision of the majority of our anonymous judges, 
Ned Crawford is now sentenced to 10 years of imprisonment. The defendant should report to the prison after he collected all his belongings in Skyline. An officer will be assigned to ensure the execution. Case closed. Oh, it's you. Oh, I bet you're glad about this. It's been some time since you last came outdoors, isn't it? The air is not so good today, so please don't inhale too hard. I'm sorry about the result, Mr. Crawford. I don't know if telling you this would help, but living in a prison is not that different from living in a boot, if you think about it. Yeah, you're actually not wrong. Conditions are much worse, though. The car is just outside the gate. Please follow me. This it? All the hard work I put in. All the dreams I had. A gloomy day just right for the bad end. Wait. There's a spinner there. And it's turned on. Maybe this is my last chance. It's now or never. What should I do? Well, I mean, what's the alternative? Go to prison for 10 years? I just want to fly. Give it up, give it up. Put your arms around. I'm sorry for ruining your ears, but... Uh, I, I, I did just sing Sugar Ray in the year 2020, in case you were wondering. Yes, that did just happen. I run towards the spinner, with every strength that is left in me. I hop on the seat. I find the ignite button, and smash it. But it failed. There is a line of message in red rolling on the navigation screen. Registered driver wait test. Fail. Now, alternatively, let's say we were to nod. Try the spinner. What happens if we just give up? Too many things unknown. If I fail, things will only get worse. Much worse. Not gonna take that bet now. What's taking you so long? Uh, nothing. You should hurry if you want some more time to say goodbye to your boot. Come and get in the car. Oh, I, I get to go back to the boot? Oh, okay. So, this is it then. Please go inside and pack up all your belongings. I'll be waiting. Play a little bit of music here. The music. Family photo. Okay, so we took that. What's... What is that? Looks like... An envelope? We'll put it here. It's not sealed. Check all your letters. I could call somebody. I think. It's obviously a call for something. It says, check all your letters, rows equals three. So, I got the old letters that I kind of have letters, quote unquote, the card. But, looking at this closer now, there's kind of a weird symbol here, right? Two 
hours later. Alright boys, I have to tap out. I've gone through everything. I thought this had something to do with it, so I was looking at this very carefully. Then I looked at the call girl card, but there's nothing here that really stands out. Went through all the takeout things and, I mean, there's numbers there, but nothing is really like, hey, this is kind of, uh, useful for a goat. Same with my ID, apparently. So, I can't make heads or tails of it, so I could just go outside and we get our prison ending, which is technically already what we got. Bad ending, or I could try to give you something good and I looked it up, so I'm not really proud of this, but maybe you guys could refresh my memory, because none of this sounds familiar. So, here's how you crack this code. There's apparently a sushi restaurant in Tuland, which is not ringing a bell to me. And there's a postcard there that points to a secret phone number. Here it is for us. Let's uh, give this the old college try here. So three, four, one, two, five, nine, three. Where's this nausea coming from? Where am I? The belt? I know this belt. Am I dreaming? What? Oh, this is from the start of the game, right? The very, very start? Wait. Everything has a wait. Say, health and wealth. What do you think? Uh, okay, uh... Try using the scale in front of you to find out. What is this thing? I must be dreaming. That's right. See? Everything. As a way. Now give me the heavier one. I'm hungry. Bridging completed. With passphrase three four one two five. 9-3. Establishing connections. What the hell is happening? Hello? Can you hear me? Ned? The monster talking to me? Looks like the connection's good. I'm no monster, by the way. This room is just one of the ports we set up for transmission. Transmission? What the heck are you talking about? We've been trying to get the vast race through to you safely. And finally, you're here. You mean the phone number? Listen. There isn't much time before the security alarm, so I'll get straight to the point. Ned, what if I tell you there's another world out there? Another world? What do you mean? Who are you? I'm one of these. These. The world you are in is just one created to serve 
a specific purpose. It's a program. We managed to hack it into it and change the story, though. That's why there's suddenly D's and I... I haven't had this kind of weird dreams for years. But this is the most ridiculous one so far. Haven't you noticed? Once the phone in your boot starts ringing, it never stops. And that's just one defect of this pro- I'm not gonna force you to believe. Nor will I force you to leave the life you know. And I gotta tell you, the world out here, it's even worse than yours. Much worse. But now that you're aware of it, time to make the choice. Choose the red candy. And we'll help you get out of this program. Choose the blue candy. And you'll be back. And remember this as a dream. Now, what will you do? So, um... I guess we've gone full Matrix. I mean, I'm just going to prison. I choose the red one. I guess I gotta feed it to you. Or feed to you the one that I don't want. Which one am I feeding? I want the red one. I see. That's why we kept doing this. People always want to and deserve to know about the truth. No matter how cruel it is. I still won't believe it until I see it. You will. When you wake up. Now, to break away from this program, you still need to pass three system security gates. They're located deep inside the that I can send you there. But I may not be able to go with you. In that case, you'll need to figure things out yourself. Just remember, don't be enslaved by the rules of the world. Not anymore. You ready? I guess. I, don't, I have no idea what's happening right now. This is like the weirdest twist. Alright. The Gate of Master. Am I supposed to do a good job or a bad job? I don't know. Uh, four, nine, six. That works. Are you blue? You're yellow. Out of here you go. Uh, fill you up to 330. Okay, so full disclosure, this is my second time around doing this. I got through this part fine, which is a gate of mastery. It's a lot of work, but you gotta, you know, as long as you pay attention, you're on it. It's okay. The second test coming up right now. It always says system error detected after the first one, even if you do perfect. I'm not sure why, but still. The second test coming up right now, this is called the Gate of Memory. And what this one does is after, throughout the course of the shift, I guess you want to call it, whatever you have to check starts to disappear slowly. So then you're supposed to remember the weight and um, the size or the weight or the color of the items. So I failed that because I have a terrible memory. So here's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to take a picture <laughs> of this immediately. So you see what's happening right now? Slowly the germ has been gone. Everything else is leaving now. 281. That is right. Blue is correct. And do you have a hook to you? Okay, we are wrapping up shift two. And thankfully, because of the picture I took here, I was able to get through it. So this is what filtered me the first time around, because I forgot everything. And that's supposed to happen no matter how well you do the system error thing. So two down, the third one, I have no idea what this one is because I haven't gotten here before. What do we got? The Gate of Rule. There's nothing here though. Wait, what, what am I doing? What am I doing here? Wait, what's what's the rule? 
Do I toss it away? I toss that away. Nothing, no, nobody yelled at me. I have no clue, but I'm tossing them away. Nothing's happening right now. I guess if there's nothing here, I can't... Ah! Damn it. What's, what's the thing? I don't know it. Okay, so I've been throwing everything away. And I'm still somehow... One... Oh, no. Oh, no. No more. No more. Please, no more. Ah. No, let me get to the end. That'll happen. Is that? I think I made it. I'm glad I threw everything away. I did what, Morpheus? You broke away from the program. Hey, can you hear? Yes. What happened exactly? What happened to Aiden? Aiden's still there. In the program. But you're late. What in the world is this program? It's called Boat. A pre-bird foster program to produce ideal population. Pre-bird? Yes. Technically. You were not born yet. And your name's not even Ned Crawford. What are you talking about? Only those who have proven themselves to not be a threat to the authority can be allowed to wake up from the program. Otherwise, they'll have to relive their lives again and again. Like a Sisyphean mortification. Until they'll become a blind soul. And we, these, are trying to save people from that. Not too much different from what we're trying to do tonight. I still don't understand. Well, let's just say boot is a simulation of the world on this side. People here take a lot of things for granted. The way Iden citizens do. What the authority told them. Food is abundant here. While a free and brave heart is just as scarce. Anyway, soon you can see it yourself. When will that be? Oh, I can move around. Just breathe. Your throat is not used to speaking yet. And you may not be able to see anything. Oh, I see plenty, but it's it's just really weird. Most power was cut off when the entire city is asleep. But the lock should be disabled in a few minutes. We'll meet then. So before going... Here's a song we always play for the newborn. You may call it a parting gift. Or is it one for the embarking? The music is amazing in this game. Especially this. So good. Ooh, this is a nice change.
Okay, so after that, we get a simulation result. I was follower blessed. 42 food consumed. Fuquan Fast Food. Favorite restaurant. Favorite food? Salmon sushi. A lot of items checked. Six delayed. 80 mistakes. Probably towards the end when I stopped doing anything. My average rank was S, though, even with the last few days not working anymore. He's so good. Welt, lottery one, end type, seeker ending. Task skipping and auto-dialogue options have been unlocked. You can now load and restart the game from any day to explore. So, if we wanted to do the Quinn stuff, the lawyer, we could probably go back and do whatever it needs to be done in order to be able to call the lawyer and defend myself in court. So, we got an end. We got multiple endings, really, with this video. We got escape failed ending, technically got imprisonment ending, and we got this super weird thing where it was all a dream! I used to read Word Up Ma not really Word Up Magazine, but it was all a simulation. There you guys have it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Do we do the Quinn stuff? Maybe. You guys let me know if there's enough interest, I'll check it out. Otherwise, um, thoroughly enjoy the game. This is essentially a one-man operation, this game. And it's so freaking good. If we don't do more, well, we'll look into something else to replace it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this ride. I'll catch you next time.